What's up guys, I'm Ira Rochelle and this is Nuggets of Truth. In our previous video, we talked about the Immaculate Conception, which is a Catholic belief that Mary was preserved from sinning from the point of her conception. So if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. It's under our Nuggets of Truth category because I think it's pretty great. Now during my research for that video, I found out that Catholics argue that if Protestants can believe that Jesus was born without sin, then they can believe that Mary was as well. So this now leads to the question, was Jesus born without sin, and if so, how? Let's take a look at what the author of the book of Hebrews wrote. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. According to the author of the book of Hebrews, Jesus, our high priest, was and is without sin. And the author of the book of Hebrews wasn't the only one to believe this. Look at what John wrote in 1 John chapter 3, verse 5. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. Again, we have another author inspired by the Holy Spirit documenting the sinless nature of Christ. So if Christ is fully human... How is he also sinless? Well, in order to understand how Jesus is without sin, we have to go back to the beginning of sin. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 through 7. It says, So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. It wasn't until Adam ate of the fruit that their eyes were opened, so therefore it was through Adam that sin came into the world. Paul actually confirms this in Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. So it is through the man that the sin gene, if you will, spreads throughout mankind. We even see this confirmed in Genesis, Genesis chapter 5 verse 3, to be specific. And it says, when Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. Notice how it says that Adam's child was born in his own likeness and image, not the likeness and image of God that Adam was originally created in. This is why it's important to understand that Jesus wasn't born under the curse of sin because he was the new or last Adam. Where am I getting this idea from? Well, that would be Brother Paul again. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. He became the last Adam because he, though being human, wasn't born from the seed of man, but from the seed of woman. In simple terms, his mother was a virgin and he was placed in her womb by the Holy Spirit, not through sex with God. Just make that clear. The Holy Spirit placed Jesus in Mary's womb. Mary did not, I repeat, Mary did not have sex with God. Okay. Luke chapter 1, verse 34 through 35. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Notice how it says that the child will be called Holy because he came from the Holy Spirit not from the seed of man. That's pretty important. That's literally Gabriel saying the same thing, that it is through the man that sin comes in. Now, this was prophesied from the day that Adam sinned and brought death into the world. God set the plan into motion the same day sin entered the world. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. God prophesied to the serpent 
that because he tempted Eve in the garden, not only would he be forever an enemy of mankind in general, but he would also one day have a physical battle between the Messiah, the offspring, or the seed of the woman. Maybe we'll even go deeper into the prophecy and everything about that in another video, but for this video, I want you to understand that in this moment, God prophesied that there would come a new Adam that wouldn't be under the curse of sin, but would be able to be tempted at, as the first Adam was. So just as Adam was created sinless, though he corrupted himself and sinned, Christ was then born sinless, but he did not corrupt himself with sin. He remained sinless. So let's just read that verse one more time that confirms Jesus was tempted but never gave in to that temptation as Adam did. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 it says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. So now we understand that Jesus was born without sin and remained without sin. We also understand why he had to come without sin because he had to save us all of mankind if you want a more in-depth study on why jesus had to remain perfect check out our video kinsman redeemer which is under our nuggets of truth category now this leaves us with just one question was jesus an exception to the rule stated in romans chapter 3 verse 23 well let's read it in context and and find out Romans chapter 3, verse 21 through 25. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as appropriation by his blood, to be received by faith this was to show god's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins when we read all of this together in context jesus isn't the exception to this rule he is the rule he's the reason we have the rule paul is explaining to us that because we have all sinned and can't overcome sin and temptation we're all on the same level jew gentile heathen barbarian we're we're all on the same level we all have to be justified and redeemed by the only one that could can did and will always overcome sin so no jesus is an, an exception to the romans 323 rule he is the reason we have the romans 323 rule jesus is the rule Jesus overcame sin because he had the initial connection that Adam did with God in the Garden of Eden, which is probably why Adam wasn't deceived by the serpent as Eve was. We can be sure of this because of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. Now, this is why Jesus was the first to have the Holy Spirit dwell in him permanently, Luke 4.1. This is also why he was able to go behind the curtain first on our behalf, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 through 16, and why he is the only mediator between man and God, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 through 6. Jesus couldn't have done any of these things unless he was, unless he was born without sin, therefore giving him that initial connection that Adam had with god in the garden of eden so just to sum everything up for you guys jesus was born without sin and is the last adam because he was the seed of the woman not man who passes on the sin gene in other words mary was a virgin and jesus was placed in her womb by the holy spirit jesus isn't the exception to the romans 323 rule but instead he is the reason we have the rule because none but Jesus has or ever will overcome all sin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Jesus' birth or him being without sin, let us know in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like to see, also let us know in the comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.